with the Vision 9 inquiry, one of the recommendations was that we needed to find out what the actual cost and benefits of the TT was. Again, looking back to that time, there were ideas of expanding it, having world TTs, having external people running the, the, the TT, which is great, but we then found out we didn't actually know how much it cost to run. And so if you're going to put things out to tender, you need to know those costs. It has been done to a limited degree in the past, asking government how much it costs, but the idea of this consultation is to go out to, to the wider community, to say to small businesses, charities, church groups, large companies, what benefits are you getting from the TT and the, motor, the Festival of Motorcycling? What, what costs are you getting? And to try to get an overall picture of how it affects the island. Do we really know how much it costs government? Because it's wide ranging, isn't it? The, the Department of Health has extra staffing for TT and uh, motorcycle event periods. The police have a larger presence and vehicles being brought over. There's a lot of aspects of government where there's increased expenditure. That's correct. Do we know the figures, though? We do know some of the figures. Um, I mean, in, in, for instance, in terms of the, of the Department of, uh, of Health and Social Care, we think around about £840,000 um, extra. In terms of um, the Department of Home Affairs, we think perhaps about £200,000 extra. But again, the, these are difficult uh, figures to, to pick up on because part of that is the racing themselves, but part of it is all the extra visitors we get to the island as well. Um, and obviously they bring in income, they bring in um, a great deal of excitement for people who live on the island, but also the publicity involved with the TT and the, and the Festival of Motorcycling is immense, and it's very difficult to put a price on, on that positive image of the Isle of Man that gets put out in the media, or on the TV, in the newspapers. A lot of businesses see the TT and the Festival of Motorcycling as, as a gold mine. It's their uh, raison d'etre, if you like, for Absolutely. being in existence. Whereas others, and it's it's commented upon, see it as a complete inconvenience. That's right. And, and I need to make absolutely clear that this consultation is not in any way to threaten motorcycle racing on the island or to threaten the TT. It's not government trying to influence how it's organised. What we're trying to do is actually get that balance right between those people who profit from it and those people who might be inconvenienced from it. We'd like to hear from anyone who has a, 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 an effect um, with the TT um, either way. And, and again, what we're asking with the consultation if, if you can give us the figures, that's great. But if you can't, if you can just put your hand up and say, look, it affects me for good or for bad or, or, or indifferent, then we can come back to you in a, at a later date, have a chat with how, how it affects you financially, whether your, your staff have to have holidays that you don't really want them to take, whether you have to close down or whether actually you boost your activity during during those festivals. So it's to get an overall picture of how it affects everyone on the island. And for, any figures will be treated confidentially. Absolutely. I mean, we're, 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 we're quite clear about this. We have the consultation set up already on the website. If people aren't, aren't happy with putting stuff on, on the internet um, because of confidentiality, please send it on to, to, to me. Uh, and I will keep those figures absolutely confidential. Um, if you can set, send them on to me at the government government office, we will deal with it that way. But it's try, just to try to get as wide a picture as possible in terms of how, how the TT works and how it influences people on the island. It's more than just figures. You've already alluded to it. How do you put a figure on the good publicity the Isle of Man gains from having these star-studded events? And on the flip side of the coin, how do you put a figure on maybe the bad publicity from the injuries and fatalities. It, that's a very good point, and it's very difficult. I mean, the, the TT has been ingrained in Isle of Man culture since 1907, and it, whenever you go around the world, actually the two things people know about the Isle of Man are Mark Cavendish and the TT, and cats with no tails, um, you know, if, if they're interested in that. It, it is part of us. It does define us. But also, I think we need to know how much it costs us as, as an island, how much benefit we get from it, because that will then help us plan for the future in terms of perhaps improving the way it's organised, suggesting how we can make it more acceptable for those people who might be inconvenienced by it, but also give a true picture of, of, of the value that the TT brings to the Isle of Man. Yeah.